Good morning. Uh, Dirt Road FPV for Life here, doing a little review on the new Beta 75X2S and show some modifications uh, that I did to turn it into an HD Whoop. Uh, first, let me tell you about the original Beta 75X. Um, there's plenty of people that have done reviews on it, but uh, just in case, it does have 1103, 11,000 uh, KV motors. Um, they do have little connectors on them which makes it uh, nice and solderless. I really like that. Um, it comes with 40 millimeter uh, four blade props. They do sport a 1.5 millimeter shaft hole. The uh, original camera was Beta FPV Z02 all in one camera. It was a 35 degree uh, mount on it and this thing was an absolute rocket with that 35 degrees. Um, the receiver that I have is a FR Sky XM Plus let me see, I hot glue the antennas here on the front, man. I use a hot glue a lot when I have the opportunity. Um, it comes in handy uh, lots of times. So, um, the uh, battery um, is a 350 milliamp hour 2S uh, XT30. Um, so uh, the uh, flight controller itself uh, has a MPU 6000. Uh, the firmware uh, version target was the Omni 4, or uh, Omnibus F4 uh, OSD, and it came pre flashed with uh, Betaflight 3.5.0. Um, it does have a built in OSD, and it also comes with smart audio, which is just fantastic for a whoop. It's amazing how far these things have come just in even nine months. Um, ESC specs uh, you got a BL Heli S D Shot 600, 6 amp ESC that uh, with a 10 amp burst. So um, the original camera that was on it, uh, I think it had a 120 degree field of view, um, and uh, it was their little uh, all-in-one micro. Uh, the uh, VTX is a 48 channel six band. It does have race band, uh, selectable 0, 25, and 200 milliwatts. So. Uh, does support a little uh, dipole antenna here on the back, um, which is plenty, plenty fine for uh, the kind of whooping that that I want to do. Um, so let me tell you about the mods that I did to it. Um, the goal of this, actually, I first saw it on Albert Kim's YouTube channel. Um, he took the uh, Beta 75 and took the Cadex Turtle V2, which is what this is, and um, took some dental floss and uh, basically took and tied, uh, taped up the uh, the board uh, so there wouldn't be any shorts and basically dental flossed it down there onto the VTX and then took a zip tie here in the front uh, to mount the uh, Caddx Turtle um, and I was like oh man actual 1080 60 in a whoop I've got to do that so I did a little bit more research and I came across um, a channel uh, the inspiration of this design and uh, Lunchbox FPV is uh, where I found this is basically his design um, the way that he mounted the camera I, it's not a whole lot different but uh, I did it more to suit my needs um, he used the different VTX than the one that came with it and he also uh, did an Immortal T um, antenna configuration on the bottom and I wanted to use the VTX that came with the Beta 75. So uh, what I did, if you look right down in here, um, that's holding the, uh, the basically the stack in, um, I built a little platform uh, with uh, TPU. Um, it's nine millimeters um, from the flight controller to the bottom of the board, which gives you just a little bit of clearance. I don't know if you can see that or not. A little bit of clearance um, over the VTX. Um, and it gave me somewhere to mount my Caddx Turtle, so um, I actually uh, was able to mount it onto that platform. And then I took his design and shortened it a good bit. I also extended the legs and, and uh, beefed them out a little bit so it would be a nice friction fit in there. Um, and I wanted this as low profile as possible, so you can see the uh, camera mount is just touching right there um, the top of the board which is not a problem because everything's TPU um, so uh, the original weight of the drone itself uh, without a battery was 46.4 grams and then the battery was 20.9 that gave me an all-up weight of 67.3 uh, 
so with the Caddx Turtle and the TPU, I add a little weight to it, but uh, the motors can handle it, and I'm still getting really decent flight time. But prior to the mods, it was like three and a half minutes, I believe. And after the mods, I mean, I lost a minute, but I'm still getting two and a half, which is what whoops have typically pretty much been. Um, so uh, still can do acro. Still can do flips, still can do uh, uh, barrels, etc. But now uh, the TPU uh, modifications are about seven and three quarter grams, and the Caddx Turtle is about twelve and a half according to the specs. But uh, after I got it all put up together, and and uh, all up weight of it now is uh, eighty two point three grams with a battery, and sixty one point four uh, without a battery. So you can see, uh, you know, uh, roughly. 20 grams um, I added to it, um, but it was definitely worth it. Like I said, I really didn't want necessarily a Whoop rocket. I mean, I've got other 2S, um, you know, I've got the, the Rack and Heli aluminum that I built out uh, 2S. Uh, it's not much bigger than this, and, you know, it, 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 it moves pretty good. So I, I really wanted a Whoop class, uh, slow whooping, uh, HD design, and that's that's what I came up with. So uh, enough about the drone. Uh, oh, forgot to tell you the Caddx V2 does support a uh, microphone. Uh, the version one I have it in another uh, quadcopter. It does not uh, have the uh, actual microphone on it, but now um, it does. Uh, also, uh, before we go to the flight, if you look right here, there's um, the way it's mounted. Uh, I have easy access to the micro SD card. Um, so I've also uh, took Mr. Albert Kim's uh, ND filters uh, idea and I've got them printed out but it's kind of cloudy today and I'm flying inside anyway so I'm not using my ND filters. Um, so anyway, uh, enough about the drone. Let's, uh, let's go see how she flies.